Hello, uh, I am Juanito, and this is my newest module. It is a kick, rumble, boom. And what it is, is it's a dedicated module specifically made to um, make the techno rumble sound that I am kind of in love with. Let me show you what it does. Okay, here I have a kick drum. This is basically pretty uh, pure. I can add dirt if I want. Where did the dirt go? But yeah, that's pretty basic uh, 808. Actually, I think it's probably a little too resonant. -y. Yeah, that's kind of a good 808. Okay, this is what this can do. Let me first make sure it's plugged in. It is plugged in. These three knobs control a... These three knobs control a basic PT2399 delay circuit. Then it goes to this knob, which is a reverb, and there's a light right here. Oh my word, you can't see anything. There's a light right here that lights when the reverb is being clipped, when the input to the reverb is clipping. Oh, first, the uh, drum sound goes into this wire right here. And this is a Proco Rat distortion module. So Proco Rat PT2399 with dry, wet, times of repeat and numbers of repeats. This is feedback, and it can go into runaway feedback. The reverb, it goes through the reverb 100% wet. There's no dry signal that gets past the reverb. And this control just sets the time of the reverb, how long the reverb will, the tails. <coughs> then there's a high-pass filter with resonance. Both of these filters, I made the resonance way too sensitive. So if you turn it up to here, you're already self-oscillating. So luckily I can still get no, you know, feet, uh, resonance. High pass, low pass. Then it goes down to here, into the tone, bass, treble. This is a basic back sand all tone control. Then it goes into a saturation. No, I'm sorry. Then it goes into a ducking filter. This ducking filter, you know, turns down the rumble when the kick is hitting. Then it goes into a saturation. That's a very basic LED circuit. And this is the volume for the out. So let's hear what it can do. Let me bring the kick back into things. Oh, and by the way, some of the settings are absolutely atrocious. I'm still learning how to use this. It's very much a work. I mean, it's not a work in progress. I, I should have built it while I had access to a kick drum so I could tune some of the options a little better. Because some of these knobs are like these, you know, like the resonance controls are almost completely useless.
Okay, there we have it. I feel like this is going to be a useful tool. I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to keep working with it to see if I can get some rumbles out of it that I really like. I did include a separate um, in for auxiliary kinds of sounds. For instance, like this one, which I will play right now. in after the Proco distortion, after the Proco rat. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on, why that's not mixing in as well as it should. But, you know, for the Proco Rat and the PT2399 delay and the Rene Schmitz uh, low pass MS20 voltage controlled filter which can be easily modified to be high pass as well. The FV1 reverb is s taken straight from the data sheet which um, for the oscillator I used a, a CD uh, 40 Four zero four five, the PLL one. Four zero two five. I can't remember. My word, I why can't I remember? Um, maybe it's H. Oh, anyway, it doesn't matter. That's that's the uh, oscillator to clock that chip. Then the back send all tone controls are taken off of sound dot AU. That is the um, site website of somebody named Scott. Sites is that his name? I don't remember. Elliot Rod Elliot. That's his name. Rod Elliot. He's like a genius. And then you you have a basic LED saturation uh, control, and then volume. So if you want, and then the ducking circuit, you can look up my um, ducking circuit on Instructables. And so I've just given you all the resources you need to build yourself one of these, just by telling you what websites. To <laughs> all right. So thanks for watching. <laughs>